What is going on guys? It's your boy Justin from the J Media and I'm back with another video. Today I am back with another install video and I have this rear diffuser that I'm gonna attempt to custom fit on my car. So it's gonna look like this. Pretty excited to have it on. Um, I might have to do some cutting but what I'll do is try to mock it up on the car and see how it sits currently. Alright so what I'm gonna do first is flip this car around check up the rear so I have more space to work on bolting up the rear diffuser to the rear of the car. So accidentally knocked over my camera while I was backing up. But here it is. Camera's fine. Um, booty view. I'm gonna get to mocking it up and show you guys how it's gonna look. Alright, so I have my jack stand as well as my jack out. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car. So I have more space underneath to drill holes. more space to work with underneath and as you can tell because of my extra brake light I have to cut a little hole right here I uh, decided to make my own custom rear diffuser with these uh, top, top secret um, rear spats as well as this universal uh, rear diffuser and should look pretty custom some self-tapping screws for now just to hold it in see how it fits I'm just gonna drill in one two three four at the end uh, see how it fits and then eventually I'll change them up for some stronger screws trying to mock it up so I'm gonna remove it right now go ahead and draw out some lines and cut it so that my fourth brake light is visible and then I have these splitter rods that I'm trying to go, uh, make use of to kind of connect it something like this so that it is you know super secure maybe something like this just to hold it in place or yeah maybe something like this so Right now I'm going to remove it again and draw the lines and just get to cutting it. Right now I have this fourth LED light and currently this diffuser is blocking it so I'm going to get to drawing some lines so that it actually reveals that fourth brake light. Always, always remember to use eye protection. Finish cutting down the rear diffuser, 
and I also got some 400 grit sandpaper and wet sanded it down on the sides. Right now what I'm going to do is slapping it back on. So just slapping these two screws back on, seeing how it looks before drilling more holes to secure it properly. I have to drill some extra holes, measure my drill bit, and I'm going to get to drilling. So I'll secure a total of eight bolts underneath. Let me get to showing you guys. It's pretty dark. But yeah, let me zoom in. So one, two, three, four, bunch of bolts. So total of eight bolts. And this thing is really sturdy. So I went ahead and made sure this thing's not going anywhere whenever I drive on the highway. I'm gonna get to dropping the car down from the jack stands and see how the finished product looks. So the car is lowered on the ground and the rear diffuser looks amazing. So let me get some stuff to show you. So I know it's kind of dark right now, but whenever I get the chance in the next video, I'll definitely show you guys the rear diffuser in the light. So leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.